Hiya, and a very warm welcome everybody on board on this high-speed webinar, Integrated Solutions for Rail and Metro, Bring the Railway Business on Track with Bosch. During today's webinar, we will talk about a general introduction into the vertical of Rail and Metro, our five pillar approach, and some references. Next to this training, there will be other webinars available where we are covering other interesting topics from the rail and metro industry. So stay tuned and enjoy listening to this series of high-speed rail webinars. The first stop on our journey are the megatrends. Let's have a closer look of what is driving our vertical in general. Megatrends. The first megatrend is urbanization. Now that means more and more people will live in urban areas. And this will have a massive impact on our PTOs, the public transport operators, and the city itself, as they need to turn into, the second megatrend, smart cities. In order to deal and cope with these increasing number of inhabitants, cities need to adopt. And within this process, inner city train connections are becoming more and more important. And last but not least, we see a change of overall third megatrend, integrated mobility. In the older days, more people had have more cars. Nowadays, more people are having less cars as they are using alternative ways of transportation like bikes, car sharing and public transport as well. So all of these megatrends are definitely having a huge impact on how the public transport will look like in the future. But being aware of these trends is only one side of the coin. We need to translate these trends into the needs of the real end users, the PTOs, and understand their impact. One example, based on these trends, our public transport operators have to deal with 35% more passengers over the next five years, according to our discussions with end users and UIC and UITP feedback as the overall global rail and metro associations. And that's what is driving the PTOs at the moment. So let's go one level deeper and see how a typical train station or metro station will look like and what type of opportunities we can identify here. As we see, there are a lot of different areas where we can apply our Bosch building technology product range to. Multi-domain and multi-business unit is for railway not only a buzzword. Even multi-vertical solutions can be found here. As an example, we can find retail and parking solutions. And if we are broadening our view a bit further, within the vertical transportation, we have as well surface services like trams, buses, and ferry boats, which are having as well individual needs. Just one example for these additional services. Under the impact of COVID-19, one of the main concerns of the public transport operators is how to maintain the social distancing on their so-called surface stops. Sounds not interesting? One example, only in Munich, they are operating approximately 1,400 of these surface stops with a potential for a solution. So we always have to listen quite carefully to the end users in order to understand their needs and the pain points. And at this moment, we are already approaching our next stop, the five pillars. Five pillars, our fields of expertise. 
If you want to describe a vertical, you have to use these five pillars. These are always the same and applicable for all of our key verticals. Industry, retail, airports, and as well for rail and metro. The only difference will be the forced one, where others are talking about employees' experience or customer experience, but everybody is talking about the human being as the forced pillar. So in order to maintain a sustainable rail and metro business, everything needs to be secure and safe. These are our core domains where we can apply of long-lasting experience and plenty of references and solutions. We learned about the impact of the megatrends on our vertical. In this example, the trend is urbanization. In order to deal with 35% more passengers, our public transport operators could add 35% new tracks, platforms and vehicles. But this cannot and will never happen. As an example, an underground station cannot be extended easily. Therefore, there is a huge demand on solutions for operational efficiency. And we will see some real use cases later on our journey. Key component for the PTOs are their passengers. They are paying the tickets and generating incomes for the rail and metro industry. So therefore, the public transport operators needs to make sure the passengers are enjoying their time while traveling. Only so they will come back, stay longer, and spend more money. A huge impact on all of these four pillars is having the fifth one, digital transformation. How to collect data, what type of data, how to use data, how to make the most out of data. These are typical questions driving our vertical. And we will learn about some use cases during our next stops. Let's continue our high-speed webinar and see if there are some use cases behind each and every pillar. Welcome to the use cases. As you can see, every pillar is having his own individual request for unique solutions. In case you are interested in learning more about our use case solutions, there are more webinars available focusing on each of our five uh, pillars. Look forward in welcoming you soon again in one of our high-speed rail webinars. But now let's have a closer look into what has been achieved so far. Seeing is believing. In the meantime, we installed more than 500 projects on a global scale, and they are very well received as serious and strategic partner to the vertical. Here are some nice references out of our achievements over the last couple of years. The London Bridge Station is the fourth busiest train station in the UK, with over 48 million people visiting it every year. And that's more than the population of Spain. What was the challenge for this project? The installation of new digital solution while the existing analog system was still running and the full integration of the new system into other third-party platforms. Customer benefits. The cameras are now allowing security operators to quickly identify potential incidents in areas of congestions. And the system provides a maximum coverage and flexibility. How does our solution look like? A scalable security network to cover the most safety critical parts of the stations, like ticket barriers, turnstiles, and platforms. And 
an intelligent network of IP cameras discreetly monitor the flow of people and passengers on a 24-7 base. The next reference, let's move to Southern America. The Sao Paulo subway is responsible for the transportation of 3 million passengers per day, which is more than 1 billion of passengers per year. What was the challenge? To increase the level of security for the passenger in a city where violence rates are very high. Next to this, the customer wanted to introduce digital video recording technology, which they had not been using before. The overall monitoring solution had to cover a widely spread network of locations. Customer benefits? They can better access critical situations and take appropriate actions now immediately. How does the solution, uh, the solution look like and looks like? A high level of technology and system integration is offering an excellent monitoring solution for the Metro of Sao Paulo. And the Metro Security Control Center now serves as a model for state-of-the-art transport monitoring solutions all across Brazil. What an achievement. Next reference, let's move up to the northern part of Europe. The Helsinki Metro system is a major transit hub in Finland's largest metropolitan region, transporting over 63 million passengers every single year. What were the challenges? The first one, ensuring sound consistency, control and integration. When it came to securing the new stations with a public address and emergency sound system, there were three main challenges. A, acoustic vibration variations. B, decentralized network topology. And C, integration with existing solutions. Customer benefits. The now installed system provides consistent passenger safety with a crystal clear sound quality at all stations, regardless of any acoustic variations. And this level of security has earned certification according to sound system standards EN 5849, as well as fire alarm standards EN 54-16 and EN 54-24. And the Presidia system of Bosch not only allows the operator personnel in all control rooms to respond directly to on-site threats with live or pre-recorded messages. It covers all angles by automatically sending warnings via the appropriate audio channel when the computer-powered video surveillance senses people are in danger. And the solution with sound quality control and integration as the main parameters, the Bosch Digital Presidio Public Address and Emergency Sound System emerged as the optimal solution for the operator. Next reference, let's go back to the UK. The South Eastern Railway is one of the busiest networks in the country operating train services between London, Kent, and parts of East Sussex. Sussex. It transports 64,000 passengers each weekday on its more or less 400 trains, which are temporarily housed in 12 depots. What was the challenge? The first challenge to upgrade legacy analog surveillance system and the second challenge, securing five unmanned depots and monitoring all of these depots on a 24-7, even throughout the night. The customer benefits of our solution? The IP camera solution provide improved image quality, 
wider coverage and wireless capability. IVA as intelligent video analytics and high levels of data security encryption. And all personal and vehicles entering the sites are now tracked and reported while also reducing costs for the end user. And our solution consists of a vast camera portfolio installed across the 12 depots, all equipped with intelligent video analytics to combat unauthorized entry. Surveillance cameras can recognize and detect stationary objects or certain situations by using the camera trainer. Our cameras with star-like uh, technology on board deliver full intelligent analytics at night and in low light conditions. And the recordings from the depots are remotely managed using our Diva IP all-in-one 7000 recorders. Now we have reached our final destination of today's high-speed rail webinar. We stopped at the megatrends, the five pillars, and the references. The vertical rail and metro is a very interesting one with huge potentials all across our five pillars as we have seen. We can only encourage you to go out to your local end users and talk to them. Based on experiences, they are more than happy to share insights because our public transport operators, they realize the following. Only if the industry is aware of their problems, they will be able coming up with a solution in order to soften and solve these issues. It's up to us. Let's develop it, the vertical any further. Together, starting now. We will always be available for more information and any kind of further support. Count on us. In case you are interested in learning more about our use cases solutions, there are more webinars available focusing on each of these five pillars. We look forward in welcoming you soon again in one of our high-speed rail webinars. Take care and stay safe. Hiya and a very warm welcome everybody on board on this second part of this high-speed webinar, Integrated Solutions for Rail and Metro, Bring the Railway Business on Track with Bosch. During today's webinars, we are talking about use cases per pillar. Next to this training, there are other webinars available where we are covering other interesting topics from the rail and metro industry. So stay tuned and enjoy listening to these series of high-speed rail webinars. First stop on our journey are the use cases per pillar. Let's have a closer look of what's meant by this. As you can see, and we already talked about this during the first part of the high-speed rail webinar. We are describing our vertical by using the so-called five-pillar approach. Here, we are showing individual needs per pillar divided into security, safety, operational efficiency, passenger experience, and digital transformation. Every pillar is having his own individual request for unique solutions. Now, let's have a closer look into the first pillar, our security solutions. This is the top use case all across Western European public transport operators, finding the owner of left luggage. As we all know, Automatic detection of left luggage is not that easy, especially in a heavily crowded scene. But public transport operators reacted to this obstacle with several awareness campaigns like See it, Say it, Sort it. So the detection is not the biggest issue, as their own staff and passengers are very well trained in reporting these type of incidents. 
But how to react on such reports? How does the processes inside the security operation center looks like? Key is to avoid any unnecessary interruption of the business continuity as closing down the station due to a false alarm. This will lead to chaos, missed trains, delays, and is causing a lot of negative passenger experiences and bad PR as well. So our solution of both Bosch face recognition will solve all of these obstacles. Just by clicking on the face of the person who dropped the luggage, the security guard will see where this person is currently. Is this guy enjoying a nice cup of tea just some meters away? Or got this item forgotten by his owner, who is already on another platform? Or has the owner already vanished out of the station? This solution opened us several doors towards the operators and further solutions made by Bosch. Like the following. Let us start with a statement received from a head of security. Keeping known criminals out of our station is key and has positive impact on security, safety and passenger experience as well. And in case of an event, we need to understand the way they took through our building. That means seeing the incident is important, but understanding how it got executed is even better in order to avoid something similar will happen again. Here we have a perfect example from another vertical. Let's have a look at a smoke bomb incident taking place at a football stadium in the Netherlands. Here it was key to understand how these individuals were able to smuggle smoke bombs into the venue. It took the security team around four men days to fully understand the complete journey from the outside to their final seats. And by using our Bosch facial recognition solution, this time came down to only a couple of minutes. What a saving! This use case is helping our PTOs to keep their infrastructure and their passengers safe and secure. And it can be used for other problems as well, as reported by one public transport operator who needed to provide all CCTV footage captured of one single passenger due to a certain reason. But is there more we can apply for security? Of course. For example, for level crossings. Level crossings are already coming with a higher need for security solutions, as we have here the real, in inverted commas, meeting point of rolling stock with other traffic members like cars, bikes and pedestrians. We know in many countries we have certification requirements or even the requirement for having a dedicated solution installed based on LIDAR and radar. But it is possible to supply our Bosch camera solution into this application as done by one of our um, local sales teams. Or we can deliver our robust and reliable camera solutions as add-on to the required solutions based on other technologies. So we can deliver a real picture in addition to the alert generated by a radar and leader system for optical verification reasons. And this is appreciated by the rail operators in many countries. Now let's have a closer look into the second pillar, our safety solutions. As already heard, one of the big issues for every operator are unnecessary interruptions of their operation. We all know the consequences for the PTOs for such an incident. So next to left luggage, as well as fire, is a huge concern for PTOs 
from a safety point of view. Why? Let's understand the infrastructure. Every station is having train traffic by default. So therefore, there's always a lot of wind and high ceilings. And every underground station looks like a tube with a high and consistent flow of air due to the train traffic. So that means by using standard fire detection methods like smoke detectors or linear heat detectors, it's more or less impossible to reliably detect smoke and fire. Several safety managers confirmed the following. But by today we suffered from very slow or even non-detection of smoke and fire, including a high manual verification effort. So our solution for them is the Bosch Aviotech video-based fire solution. A video-based fire detection system which recognizes smoke and fire at the source within a very short time frame and even in very challenging surroundings like in our vertical in stations and tunnels. And the latest Aviotech version works even at the level of two lux only, which is more or less pitch black. And while using this solution, the operator can use the same Bosch Aviotech camera for other security use cases as well. So let's have a look into the offering from another business unit, business unit communication. In case of an evacuation, the installed audio solution is playing a crucial role. The PTO have to make sure the messages are coming across, no matter what. So as an example, our latest offering presenter out of the business unit communication solves a lot of different pain points for the rail and metro operators. And now I went for three individual points why Presenza is a perfect fit for our PTOs. The first one, as an operator, you need to know if your call, if your message was delivered successfully to the selected zone, even in a longer distance where you cannot hear yourself. So after the call, the Presenza call station gives you feedback if the call was successful or not. The second topic. Usually the operators do not like live calls. Presenza offers an embedded text-to-speech functionality in many different languages. What an outstanding and unique feature. So here pre-recorded messages in different languages can be automatically broadcasted to ensure and safe evacuation. And third point, in tunnels or stations, distances can be longer, which causes audio delays and as a result, echo. So audio processing per channel made by Presenza for EQing audio delays level control and the ability to adjust delays on each speaker line individually increases the speech intelligibility and these points are ensuring that the messages are coming across no matter what. And the last use case from a safety point of view is called the unsafe crowd behavior. As of today, more and more cameras will be added to the overall CCTV system of a rail and metro operator. But the number of people dealing with these type of footage will decrease. Why? Because human beings are not made for watching hundreds of different security cameras in order to spot the incident. Human beings are made for reacting based on reported incidents. 
and therefore plenty of security operation centers are relying already on our Bosch video analytics. What does this mean in detail from a safety point of view? Knowing your passenger flows and reacting in a proper manner is important. As well, receiving an automatically generated alert in case something of normal is happening, like large crowds are gathering, people are walking into wrong directions on the escalator, a crowd is moving towards a closed area, or a crowd is moving towards the end of the platform. So our Bosch IVA really makes the difference here and delivers information when needed. And this makes the passenger journey more safe, more relaxed, and relaxed relax the safety stuff of the public transport operator as well. And we will come back to that functionality when we are talking about the fifth pillar of digital transformation. So now let's have a closer look into the third pillar, our solutions for operational efficiency. Operational efficiency is playing an important role in order to make our PTOs fit for the future. By today, they have to think about solutions in order being able to deal with 35% more passengers over the next five years within their existing infrastructure. So let's go straight to the first use case to see what Bosch can offer in terms of operational efficiency. One of the bottlenecks for public transport operators are the access points to the stations. Here everybody has to swipe their boarding passes to a reader in order to justify their presence at the turnstile. And especially during rush hours, this is causing very often long queues in front of the turnstiles. Long queues are leading to longer travel times in total will limit the willingness of the passenger spending additional money for food and beverage and impact the overall customer experience. So here we can apply the Bosch facial recognition solution to. Adding the picture of, as an example, the frequent travelers to the database and give them access to a fast lane. This is providing advantages on several levels. This will improve of operational efficiency. So more people will get access within given space and given numbers of turnstiles. That will increase the passenger experience because we are treating loyal passengers with a monthly, with an annual boarding pass in a special way. And this will help to increase the retail turnover because people will now have more time to go for, as an example, another cup of tea or something similar. Another big topic are unnecessary interruptions of the operation, as we already heard. Every even a very short interruption of the operation is causing a lot of problems to the operator. Trains will be delayed or cancelled completely, which will lead to longer travel times and will impact on passenger experience. So to avoid interruptions, our PTOs wants to see what is ongoing, as well inside tunnels and on tracks. So as of today, more and more cameras are added to the overall CCTV system of a rail and metro operator. But the number of people dealing, as we already heard, will decrease. So therefore, plenty of security operation control centers are relying on our offering of video and video analytics already as of today. 
And what does it mean for operational efficiency? Our Bosch Intelligent Video Analytics really makes the difference here and delivers information on the spot when needed. So our products are by default robust and applicable to work even under harsh environmental conditions like wind, rain, like abrasions, day and night, and many more. And this makes the passenger journey more safe, more relaxed, and again, relax the safety stuff of our PTOs. So only if the operator can see the incident, they will have a chance to react in a proper manner. So therefore, our very high quality is key for the operators to provide an enjoyable and hassle-free journey to their passengers. One of the sub-use cases derived from the previous presented one is around trackside trespassing. Every person on a track is dangerous by default and could cause massive damage to the operation. Doesn't matter if that person is disoriented, drunk, or even if a teenager is walking on a track as a dare. Therefore, our wide range of Bosch outdoor cameras with built-in intelligence will automatically detect persons and objects under even harsh weather conditions or bad light conditions. Our portfolio offers the right choice to enable perimeter protection over long distances. And our IVA capabilities are only informing the operation in case of an event. This helps to reduce the workload on the one hand and reduces the risk of missing an event on the other hand. Now let's have a closer look into the first pillar, our solutions for passenger experiences. Passengers are the key component of the overall rail and metro operations. They are buying the tickets and spending their money on food and beverage or retail offerings. And therefore a station is way more than only a hub of transportation, like a shopping mall, a leisure park, a car park in the middle of the city center, or even a conference venue. Therefore our stations need to stand the competition with other similar venues. And this already shows why they have a huge demand for solutions out of the classic safety and security domain. There are different reasons why a PTO wants to stream a voice message out of their PA system. It could be a commercial spot, an operational announcement like a platform change, or even an evacuation. But no matter what's the purpose of these announcements, the message needs to be understood by the passengers. Here, our latest PA offering presenter offering, uh, is playing a crucial role. Presenza, our fully IP-based and feature-rich public address and voice alarm system, is loved already as of today by the rail and metro operators. Presenza combines the benefits of 90 years of Bosch PA experience with extensive knowledge from the vertical and customer feedback. These are brought together in just one single system. Presenza is a real game changer for all of us. We already heard that retail is very interesting for our PTOs for many reasons. To increase the overall attractiveness of the station, because as better it is, as more people will come here by train, and as more passengers will be here, as higher the overall revenue will be. And to improve on passenger experience, a better offering of food and beverage while traveling 
will make you even feel better as a passenger. We heard in the webinar around solutions for the vertical of retail already plenty of topics which are all valid for the retail area of a station. All of these are of high interest for our stations as well, because as more solutions a station is able to offer towards potential tenants, in comparison to a shopping mall, as higher the station's chances will be in getting this company, this brand, this chain as a tenant. Here we are just thinking about solutions for traffic visualization, flow analysis, people counting, queue management, and many more. And for more information on these vertical specific solutions for retail, we highly recommend listening to our retail webinar. So let's continue with another revenue driver from the rail and metro industry. Parking management. Parking is one of the biggest revenue sources for a station. Therefore, clever and safe parking solutions are more than welcome. So we can use here our Bosch camera offering and the data coming out of our Bosch cameras to inform passengers about available parking spots, to guide them towards these parking spots, to recognize the license plate, and many more. And additionally, we can apply our very well-known security algorithm in order to detect loitering, wrong direction driving, left luggage, queues, etc. And by having this data, we can learn from this. As an example, where are the areas where we have the num highest number of loitering attempts to derive and implement further solutions on this topic at this location? Like, we should think about to increase the illumination level or to intensify the number of guarding there. And now let's have a closer look into the fifth pillar, our solution for digital transformation. Digital transformation is having a huge impact on all of these four pillars we already talked about. How to collect data, what type of data, how to use data, how to make the most out of data. These are typical questions driving our vertical. So let's see some use cases to answer this pillar. The first one is automated surveillance and alarm management. For our common understanding, one single operator at a station is managing on average between 200 and 400 cameras during a shift while permanently watching video streams. While doing this, this person is hoping to find the needle in the haystack, the next incident. But will this be possible? And on which probability? We believe a human being, as already heard, is not made for watching and analyzing hours of video footage. But a human being is made for making decisions based on reported incidents, which got automatically detected by the video surveillance system. However, many security operation centers are not on this level yet. They are still looking at raw video images in order to find something. So within this use case, we have two topics to address. Our IVA will bring forward certain situations in order in terms of automated surveillance, like people walking into the wrong direction or and object detection in a zone where normally no object will or is allowed to, like 
emergency doors. And within this use case, we can as well address the second topic, the automated processes. So let's go back to the example with the emergency door. An automated process would be an announced message via the PA system in case our IVA detected an object is blocking this door, like a trolley or a suitcase. And this comes with a high chance that the driver of the trolley will remove the trolley before a threat can occur. And this is the advantage and the beauty of using IVA, first of all, to detect that something is now blocking the emergency door in combination with the automation of the processes that as soon as possible the IVA will detect the blocking, that the connected technology, like in that case the PA system, will play an automatically announcement. And that is increasing the level of safety and security that will increase the probability that that person will remove the object and that will decrease massively the workload of the safety and security personnel within the security operation centers. So a perfect example of how, of how IVA can detect situations on the one hand and automate certain process, uh, processes on the other hand. A recommendation from our side, we should look into scenes with less traffic in order to ensure that our Bosch intelligent video and, um, and analytics will work sufficient. And with this, we can solve a lot of issues and take hassle away from the operator so they can focus on their original prime job. The next step will be the smart control room. This allows the status where smart sensors like a Bosch camera are detecting situations and connected technologies solves these on their own. Here a smart control room will collect data over a longer period of time. And this really helps to understand the scene the operator is watching like. So just while watching, he needs to understand is the scene now busy as usual or not? Or is this area going to be busy within a certain time frame? Or are there congestions already ongoing? So to collect data over time helps to really understand what is happening in different areas in a station, like the identification of hotspots with always long queues, or to identify areas with the highest numbers of passengers are walking into the wrong way on a travel later, or the area where the highest number of reported left luggage or loitering at the car parks got reported. So without collecting these data over a longer time, an operator would not get these insights while only receiving the alerts. But only if the operator is realizing and aware of these weak spots, they can implement countermeasures. So our Bosch cameras can detect, as an example, where is loitering always taking place? Or where are the homeless people are more likely to be gathered inside the station? And this knowledge will lead into solutions in order to improve on this. As an example, do we need more illumination or do we have to intensify the guarding in this area? So this all can be detected by our Bosch cameras and can be collected over a long period of time in order to, anal um, to analyze the operation and come to improvements. Here the key is for the operator, our Bosch quality of the captured data. Because as higher the quality of these data will be, as better the dashboards and the counter actions based on these informations will be. So by gaining more and more insights into the rail and metro operations, 
our PTOs will make the next step into the field of predicting the business better based on data. And this is a solution where our public transport operators needs to be in order to handle the major trends as how to deal with 35% more passengers over the next five years. But if you are collecting more and more data within your smart control room, you should keep these data safe. And you have to keep these data safe. We as Bosch are able to keep them safe as we have an end-to-end -end encryption on our data streams. On our cameras, Bosch has a so-called TPM, a trusted platform module, where we are keeping our encryption keys in a separate hardware chip. And this is, we are up the highest standards in terms of data protection. Now we have reached already our final destination of today's high-speed rail webinar. The vertical rail and metro is a very interesting one with huge potentials, all across our five pillars as we have seen. We can only encourage you to go out to your local end users and talk to them. Based on experiences, they are more than happy to share insights because they have realized the following. Only if we are aware of their problems, they will be able or we will be able as the industry to come up with solutions in order to soften and solve these issues. So it's up to us. Let's develop the vertical any further, together, starting now. We will always be available for more information and any kind of further support. Count on us. In case you are interested in learning more about our rail and metro solutions, there are more webinars available focusing on the main trends and some references. So look forward in welcoming you soon again in one of our high-speed rail webinars. Take care and stay safe.